Me and Tesco are back to help you lovely people get more veggies into your life. I'm gonna show you how to make the simplest veggie curry in no time at all. It's super quick, delicious to eat, full of the good stuff. And to make it even better, Tesco have put these spring greens and loads more on club card prices. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get cooking. Now it all happens in this pan and it's so easy, it's almost like not cooking. So we start with sweet potatoes. It's a fantastic ingredient, right? Potatoes do not count as one of your five fruit and veg a day. They're a starchy carb. These do count and these get picked when they're in perfect season. They're frozen and chopped for you. 400 grams, right? No cutting at all, just straight in. So a tablespoon of olive oil goes in, shake it around. And I just wanna fry these off with a pinch of salt and pepper for about 10 minutes. Now another little trick, which is brilliant, is chopped frozen onions. 250 grams goes in. So look, here's my knife. I haven't even picked it up. This is proper cheats cooking. Now look, if you're busy, and if you're trying to juggle a thousand things and you still want to have real tasty food, but you're short of time, then these bags of cut veggies are brilliant. They're brilliant. And you know what? They're picked when they're at their best. They're snap frozen. They're full of nutrients. So mix in the onions. And then I'm going to go in with four tablespoons of lovely tikka paste. In the tikka paste, you're going to get a whole myriad of layer upon layer of beautiful flavors. Really mix that in nicely and we'll let that fry away for about 15 minutes until golden caramelized and that's what's gonna amplify all the flavor to make those frozen veggies the most delicious veggie ever. So, what's lovely about this recipe also is me and Tesco have developed them in conjunction with the WWF. We wanna talk about wasting less food, so that's where the kind of frozen food story comes in because it's a fantastic way to have veggies, a whole army of veggies in the freezer, ready and raring to go, great for not wasting as much. And in this dish, there is four of your five fruit and veg a day. So come on, a curry, but with so much more to tell. So let that fry away, and then I'll show you what to do next. So for me, this is the beautiful thing about cooking. Allowing it to have that 15 minutes. I mean, look at it. You can see it's all shrunk up. You've got little cork bits, little jammy bits. It looks dark and mysterious. And that, my friends, is flavor, flavor, flavor. Beautiful tin of chickpeas. I love chickpeas. They count as one of your five fruit and veg a day as well. And the starchy juice that comes with it just adds to this curry. And then I'm gonna use a tin of tomatoes. I try and use the plum tomatoes. I think they just taste better. Break those up. We'll have a nice little season of salt and pepper. Then what I will do is just add tins worth of water. Pour in that water and then let that simmer away for 15 minutes until it's utterly delicious. And then I've got a brilliant little twist in the tail using this amazing seasonal spring greens. Good times. Okay, so this has had 15 minutes. You can see the texture and the consistency is just beautiful. You can just chop up the cabbage and throw it through, mix it up, happy days. Or I like to angle the pan and create this space here. And then I'll take the beautiful greens and almost do like a little kind of yin and yang. Then pop the lid on, and then in three or four minutes, you're gonna steam these greens in the most beautiful way. It's gonna retain so much more of the nutrition and the color, it will look gorgeous. Then you can either serve them separately, or you can fold it through at the last minute. But more than anything, it will be full of more color, and I like that. Time to serve up. So if you have a look here, it's not gray and dull and boring. You know, it's not that vibe, it's full of life. Ah, and you can keep them separate if you want, or if you want, you can fold it through or have a bit of both. So I've got some nice little naans here. I'm just gonna tear onto the plate. Look at that. I'm gonna take a nice little portion of our veggie curry. Look at that, lovely colors. Absolutely beautiful. And then I like to have it just with a little spoon of yogurt. So good. A little mango chutney maybe as an optional but I love a bit of mango chutney. Beautiful, a bit of pepper. So there you go, a really easy curry, full of the good stuff. Look, I'm in there with the hands, getting some of that sweet potato. Yum, wow, absolutely delicious. You know, it's got lovely layers of spices in there, but it's not hot, it's not chilli hot. And of course you can make it that if you want, but I could serve this to my whole family and they would absolutely love it. This will serve four, so what are you waiting for? If you want to cook this, get the recipe, get down to Tesco, 
and get cooking.